Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our Caribbean disturbance as well as what is now Hurricane Larry. So Larry is an intensifying tropical cyclone and so we're going to be talking about it in this video. And so before I go into details... Okay, and also guys, before I start, if you haven't, you can subscribe to my new channel, which I launched a few days ago. The link is in the description of this video. And so let's talk about that Caribbean disturbance first. So as you're seeing, there is a 20% chance that it could potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. It actually has a low 10% chance through the next 48 hours. So the chance is kind of fluctuating between 20-30% for the system, but it is remaining in that low uh, category for development so it is likely that we won't have much development taking place of the system but regardless it is going to be producing some dangerous conditions in portions of central america so that heavy rainfall the gusty winds those are possible even though the system might not achieve tropical cyclone status so don't let it fool you that this thing here has a low chance to develop we've seen a lot of times where it takes even a depression to cause some widespread devastation and usually the problem with any tropical cyclone is the water so you want to ensure that you're not in a region that is flood prone or near the coastline but because the system is not going to be so strong it shouldn't be much of a significant threat in terms of the storm surge but it is going to be dumping heavy rainfall in portions of central america so you want to be aware of that and so whenever it moves into the gulf of mexico uh, it could even have a chance to get in shape and probably become a weak tropical cyclone but very low chance for that to happen as of right now but as i said regardless it is going to be producing some dangerous conditions in portions of central america and it is likely that mexico is going to be that target area for when the system moves over into the gulf and so now let's take a look at it on sunlight so here we have it a very small cluster of shower and thunderstorm activity and uh, we don't have any organization of the system at all and it is quite small so we have to wait and see what is going to be the outcome and sometimes when we have these systems being so disorganized it just makes the rainfall more widespread so you want to ensure that you're in as i said a region that is not flood prone if the system here is going to be making its way to your areas so areas such as uh, belize guatemala and parts of mexico even the yucatan might experience some dangerous conditions as a result of this disturbance here and so now let's go on to hurricane larry so looking at the satellite view of the hurricane we're seeing here that it is getting in shape guys and so it is expected to continue intensifying and eventually become a major hurricane so let's look at the cone forecast from the national hurricane center and so we're seeing here that larry has sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and it is accelerated westward at 20 miles per hour and so it is expected to become a major hurricane by late friday and it is expected to have peak winds of 130 miles per hour so that is a category for hurricane right there fortunately as you're seen by the cone nowhere is expected to be affected by larry during the next five days so let's hope that things stay that way and um, we're going to take a look at what hover model runs are showing and that's the gfs and the euro model runs and so before doing so let's take a look at conditions across the basin so first up ocean temperatures and ocean temperatures are very warm as expected and especially the gulf of mexico so that could be some fuel for that disturbance that is going to be making its way the southern portion of the gulf of mexico so if it is over there for enough time then it could really get in shape and intensify into a tropical cyclone but again the chance is quite low for that to happen and in terms of larry of course conditions are definitely favorable to support continual intensification of the system so it is likely here that things are going to be staying favorable but take a look at the wind shear map now so the different colors mean different shear intensity so we have the green meaning favorable the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable so we do have some favorable shear uh, a bit of favorable shear that is in the region of our disturbance but things are not the very best right now for it in the southern gulf of mexico we do have some neutral shear not very impactful but it will be for a system that is kind of struggling to develop so 
in terms of Larry, now we do see some unfavorable shear in the region where Larry is headed, but things are expected to become more conducive and intensification is anticipated of the tropical cyclone. And so guys, now let's take a look at what the Euro and the GFS models are expecting in terms of Larry. So first up is the GFS. And so in case you're not familiar with this map, it is a map showing the isobars which are lines of equal pressure. And the closer you see them in a circular manner with a pressure below 1013 millibars, that is a low pressure system and can be your tropical cyclone. So what? So that is what we're looking for here. And so this is showing uh, by tomorrow the 3rd of September so here we have GFS showing a 980 millibar low pressure system to the west southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands so going further out to Saturday the system is now somewhat midway between the Lesser Antilles and the Cabo Verde Islands and it is showing that the pressure is decreasing for the system and so whenever you have a decrease in the minimum pressure of the system it is usually stronger so in this case we have an intensifying tropical cyclone here and you can also Know, uh, by the gradient of those isobars so when you see them being so tightly packed that means the gradient is steep which means that we have an intensifying tropical cyclone and the winds are a lot stronger and going further out to sunday the 5th of september here we have the pressure decreasing some more to 959 millibars and by that time it is probably a major hurricane and so and to wednesday the 8th of the month we see that we have the pressure starting to increase so that means that there is some weakening taking place but going further out is the 10th of september we have it making its way northward and later that day it might affect portions of uh, the most easterly section of canada so this can change we have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome and so moving on to euro and so this is by saturday the fourth of the month and so here we have euro showing larry being midway between the lesser antilles and the Cabo verde islands and based on how tightly packed we have the isobars being we have an intensifying tropical cyclone this is by tuesday the 7th of september and go to, going to the 11th of september we have euro showing that the system is going to be making its way up into the north atlantic and not to be much of a threat to anywhere so this is going to be what we call a fish storm out in the atlantic but interestingly by the 12th of september at the end of the euro model run what is that is that a tropical cyclone of africa seems likely so we'll have to wait and see what is going to be happening by that time but anything can change and the peak of the season is just a few days away from now the 10th of september is usually the date that marks the peak so we'll have to see what is going to be taking place as we're going to be heading throughout the rest of this month so we can expect a lot more tropical activity to be taking place in the atlantic things are a little quiet now but things can change and so guys that is it for this updated video on the tropics and so if you found it to be quite informative please do a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best innocent as i can and just remember to always be otherwise